This is Twit. Well, WhatsApp CEO Jan Koum announced at Mobile World Congress today that his app will add voice calling by June. He also confirmed that WhatsApp still has no plans for advertising. Don't know how they're going to play for, pay for the phone uh, phone feature. The company is being acquired by Facebook, of course. And in related news, Coom announced yesterday that a network router knocked out WhatsApp for more than three hours on Saturday. With us to talk about this is Jamie Rigg, an associate editor at Engadget. Welcome, Jamie. Uh, hi, guys. Thanks very much for having me on. Well, we appreciate it. Now, this appears to be a huge challenge to Google, which offers Google Voice, of course, and also phone-based Hangouts. But it also seems to challenge Microsoft, which owns Skype. Is this going to be like a Skype-like service? Will this compete with Sp Skype on the international market for uh, internet phone calls? Um, yeah, sure. Obviously, uh, WhatsApp is uh, an extremely popular, um, you know, I IM application, uh, almost half a billion kind of monthly users. So <clears throat> if you think about it, it's uh, beyond the kind of uh, Facebook uh, angle, which is, you know, uh, this this happening so close to the acquisition. Um, if you think about them introducing voice calling, voice messaging, things like that, then of course it's going to be a, a massive competitor to uh, to other services, yeah, like Skype, you've got Gtalk, even indirectly, I guess, FaceTime um, and, uh, yeah, Viber and everything. So it, it's, you know, the, the fact that they have such a, a, a crazy, you know, number of users means that uh yeah it's going to be stiff competition for for you know the the existing voip providers